Have you ever wondered why some people radiate a sense of peace and purpose, no matter what life throws their way? Why do they seem untouched by the daily struggles that affect the rest of us? Today, we're diving deep into the six things that highly spiritual people quit, slowly but surely. You see, this transformation doesn't happen overnight, but as they let go of these six toxic habits, they start evolving into their higher selves. By the end of this video, you'll not only recognize these habits, but may also find yourself wondering, what's holding me back from a more enlightened, peaceful life? Stick around, because these shifts are simpler than you think, and yet, their impact, life-changing. Ready to begin. One, the habit of seeking external validation. Let's start with something that most of us are guilty of, seeking approval from others. You've probably done it today, whether it's posting on social media, hoping for that like, or biting your tongue in a conversation just to keep the peace, highly spiritual people. They quit this slowly. Why? Because the moment they stop living for others' approval, they start living in alignment with their true selves. But here's the question. How often do you hold back because you're worried about what someone else might think? What if I told you that spiritual freedom begins when you let go of this need? I'll get back to this idea in a bit, but for now, keep it in mind. It's foundational. By the way, I wonder, when was the last time you genuinely did something without considering anyone else's opinion? Tough question, right? Two, the obsession with perfection. Perfection is an illusion. Spiritual people learn to quit this slow, creeping desire for flawlessness. They know that the pursuit of perfection only leads to burnout, frustration, and ultimately, paralysis. And yet it's so easy to fall into that trap, isn't it? But here's where the fear kicks in. What if you never let go of this obsession? You'll always be waiting for the right moment, the perfect time. And guess what? That never comes. Highly spiritual people quit the need for everything to be perfect, and by doing so, they make space for growth. We'll touch on how this perfectionism connects to another toxic pattern in just a minute. But first, three, toxic relationships. Let's talk about relationships, not the ones that bring you joy, but the ones that drain your energy. Spiritual people gradually distance themselves from relationships that don't serve their higher purpose. Whether it's a friend, a colleague, or even family, if someone in your life is constantly pulling you into negative energy, it's time to take a step back. But here's the terrifying part. What happens if you don't? You'll carry their baggage, their negativity, and eventually, you'll forget what your peace feels like. Now, before you run off and unfollow half your social circle, remember, this is a gradual process. You don't need to go ghosting everyone at once. Four, the fear of change. What's scarier than change? For most, nothing. But highly spiritual people, they slowly let go of that fear. They understand that life is change, and fighting it only leads to suffering. But if they can embrace it, that's where real transformation begins. Think about it. What's one change you've been avoiding? What would happen if you embraced it today? The fear of the unknown is powerful, but when spiritual people let go of it, they step into a life filled with possibilities. We'll dive into how this fear connects to control in a moment. You won't want to miss it. Five, the need to control everything. Highly spiritual people quit the need to control everything. They recognize that trying to micromanage every aspect of their lives only creates tension and anxiety. Instead, they trust the process, call it the universe, divine timing, or simply life's flow. Letting go of control isn't easy, but when they do, they find peace. Imagine what life would feel like if you could just let go. No more worrying about the future. No more obsessing over every detail. What would change for you? Well, let's be honest. Probably fewer sleepless nights. For one, six, negative self-talk. Last but certainly not least, they quit negative self-talk. The internal dialogue we all struggle with, I'm not good enough, I'll never succeed. What if I fail? It's like a poison for the soul. Slowly but surely, spiritual people learn to replace this inner critic with an inner cheerleader. And here's where it all comes together. 
Once you quit these six things, you start clearing space in your life for peace, for growth, and for becoming the highest version of yourself. So now you know the six things highly spiritual people quit. But the real question is, what are you going to do with this knowledge? Are you ready to start letting go, step by step, and embrace the peace you've been seeking? If you're dedicated to your spiritual journey, subscribe to my channel for the next video on spiritual growth. It will provide daily guidance on how to further elevate your spirituality.